just yet. I know many people look forward to those crisp mornings and a little bit of a breeze in the afternoon. We did have the breeze, but a southerly flow kept things feeling very warm outside. 26 was our daytime high, seasonal average, yeah, in the teens. So those of you who are already missing summer, this weekend is for you. Make sure you get outside and enjoy it. I mentioned the winds not overly strong, maybe around 15 kilometers per hour this hour here in the city of Toronto, but that southerly flow ushering in that warm air and it will be a similar situation as we head into the day tomorrow. Our forecast overnight low tonight is going to be around 18 degrees. That too is warmer than normal, so it's not just the daytime highs, it's those overnight lows as well. Even areas that we've seen tumble close to the freezing mark already this season, yeah, in the teens through the overnight hours tonight. So a little bit of a change. Tomorrow's forecast high, 28 degrees and a whole lot of sunshine in the forecast too. That is going to contribute to our warm up, although there will be some fair weather clouds mixed in in many areas factor in the humidity and believe it or not once again it is going to feel like 33 out there and considering it was such a hot summer we're used to that kind of weather so at least there's the upside there Mostly sunny skies, a good day for spending some time around home. In fact, right into the evening hours, that sunshine will be sticking around. And so too will those temperatures in the mid and upper 20s. You may be wondering, with the arrival of fall, when are we going to start to see a pattern change? Well, for one thing, with the fall season, we start to see those steadier rainfalls, big low pressure systems that bring us wet weather that lasts all day, as opposed to the quick downpours that we get with summertime thunderstorms. It looks like this has a potential as we make our way through this week. Not tomorrow, it's going to be a dry day. As we make our way into the day on Monday, maybe even late day Sunday, we're going to see a couple of showers start to develop. Then into Monday afternoon, you'll want the umbrella handy into the evening hours and then through the overnight. This is where some steadier rainfall is expected to fall and it continues right through into the day on Tuesday. Tuesday itself, not expected to be a washout, but in any case, it is looking as though we do have some unsettled weather in store for this week. And by Tuesday, if you're already craving some cool cooler conditions. It looks like we will be feeling a little more typical of this time of year by then. A 60% chance of showers that day. Similar situation into Wednesday, but I am hopeful that we will see at least a little more in the way of sunshine. Some uncertainty when it comes to the end of next week. We're going to track the potential for maybe a little more in the way of wet weather, but look at the cool down as we make our way into next weekend. I meant it when I say if you enjoy summer-like weather, enjoy today and tomorrow. That's the seven-day forecast. Andrea, I'll send it over to you. Thank you, Lindsay. Technology exists in so many parts of our lives, you likely don't even notice some of it from our cars to our phones. It's typically there to make things easier for us. And now one restaurant owner in Calgary is turning to the future.